Hello and welcome to yet another Real Economy Check. Today our guest is Milin Padole. He's the Managing Director or of Affordable Robotic and Automation, a company that specializes in automation arms and processes for car makers like Volkswagen and Mahindra and Mahindra, a business that's expected to do increasingly better with manufacturers choosing to depend on machines or workers. But does this hold true right now in the current economic scenario when automakers are going through a really rough patch themselves? Let's put that question across to Milin. Milin, good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. In a, in a, in a very brief nutshell, Milin, tell us about yourself and your company. Yeah, I am uh, Milin Padole. I'm uh, managing director of Affordable Robotic and Automation Company. Uh, it's a Bombay Stock Exchange listed company. We are 13 years old company. So primarily, we have uh, two major verticals. One is automated welding lines, which we supply to all automotive customers like Mahindra and Tata, Piaggio, Bajaj, Suzuki, and uh, all other uh, OEMs. So that is one primary customer and another customer is we or we are into automated uh, car parking solutions wherein we supply uh, you know complicated uh, towers like 70 meter towers and the car gets automatically parked. So there we have two type of customer one is uh, private developers and another is government where we supply to smart cities. So across board all the three customers you know uh, be it automotive or um, uh, developers all are in a bad shape. So we thought uh, we should uh, start doing government jobs also. So we took uh, two government tenders of smart cities. One was Vishakhapatnam and one was um, uh, Tirupati. Unfortunately, both were in uh, Andhra government and there the government got changed and all projects were you know stalled. So uh, almost both orders put together was 25 crores and our company size is 120 crores. So for 120 crores, 25 crores project getting stalled uh, was a big uh, uh, jolt for us. And also the private developers like all the builders in Bombay uh, who are another big customers. Uh, there is a big liquidity crisis there due to series of you know uh, things which everybody knows. So uh, those two customers and then automotive uh, demand is very less. So there also uh, that sentiments, as far as our, uh, our business is concerned, automotive is still doing good because uh, we are supplier of equipment for new models. So when the old models are not doing well, we are building new models for all automotive. So as far as automotive is concerned, we are still protected, but still the sentiment is not good. Uh, there our liquidity is good in automotive and our uh, demand is good because we are launching new models. But uh, as far as sentiment in automotive sector is concerned, it is uh, not that great. So, Milan, so what is a, this is what it is. Okay, so what is a company like you doing right now to try and explore new avenues? I also want to talk about the government piece, by the way, but just before we come to that, if the three segments that uh, you're so catering we, to are under issues, what do you are, do next? You know, we are we are trying to optimize our operations. We are downsizing. We are, you know, cutting all costs. Like uh, air travel is being cut. Like uh, all, all allowances are being cut. Uh, the team ha is being downsized. So last six months, we might have, uh, you know, downsized by around... 40 to 50 people. So we were around 340 people, uh, including contract. So on our role, we were 242 people. So we have downsized our own strength by 40 to uh, 50 people in last six months. Uh, because we have to cope up with uh, all this, right? We have to cope up with the uh, downtrend in the market. We have to uh, cope up with the liquidity issue in the market. And uh, that is how we are coping up. We are optimizing our everything, every operation we are trying to optimize. We are negotiating harder, you know. So that is how we are coping up. Okay. Uh, before we get to the government piece again, the other, other factor is the kind of uh, costs that MSMEs are facing. Now, a lot of companies, mid-sized companies, tell us that while the interest rates from the Reserve Bank have come off, their borrowing costs haven't quite done that. In fact, they've gone up. Uh, what's your debt equity profile and what's the cost of borrowing for you as a company? Has it moved up 
in the last 12 months. So our uh, borrowing cost uh, is under control. Uh, like uh, we bank with uh, Axis Bank and um, our uh, debt uh, percentages are like uh, the loan, uh, what do you call that, uh, is good. Um, the uh, interest interest on the loan is quite competitive, I would say. Uh, it has not so gone, up. gone up. Uh, it is okay. You know, okay. So not that's not that's not an issue for you. What about liquidity, uh, Milin? Uh, uh, you know, uh, certain companies are saying that because projects are stuck or because receivables are not coming in, it's an issue for them on the liquidity inflow front. At the same time, banks are not willing to lend in the way they were use they used to, uh, because the paperwork needs to be a lot more complete, etc., etc. Bank has, et et you know, uh, getting more conservative because of the overall sentiments, because of uh, the slowdown in all our customers so they are not willing to further lend us of course so they are uh, very cautious and we are also not trying hard to get further debts because you know we want to manage in our own resource uh, because the overall uh, condition uh, is not looking that conducive okay so we don't want to increase our liabilities further so we are also not pressing hard like I will tell you, we were uh, we bought one land uh, adjacent to our uh, uh, existing plant, and we were planning to build a shade, uh, and that we deferred. So for that, we had applied for a loan. The loan got sanctioned, but they said uh, if we cross this milestone, then they will give that loan, and then we also, you know, shelved that. Uh, we said we will manage an existing two plants. So we have two plants here. So we were building third plant and which we shelved for now. Okay. For that we bought a land. We bought a five acres land and we have kept in hold. Okay, I get your point. So, you know, the now, money gone into the land is now getting stuck. Yeah, so I'm guessing money is stuck at a lot of places. I want to focus a bit on the government side as well. Now, there are two distinct things out here. One is that you had a project in Andhra Pradesh and because of the change of government, I presume there, uh, the project has gotten stuck. Part two is what's happening with the other government contracts. Is, is money coming in at the desired time or maybe even a slightly later time? See, uh, Vishakhapatnam was the first smart city which uh, um, started with the smart car park. Okay, so we backed that. Then Tirupati was the second smart city which uh, gave the contracts. That also we backed. So both kind of got stalled. So then we got so much cautious that now we are trying to, you know, uh, um, fill some tenders in other uh, part of uh, India. And we are just be cautious if there is a re-election coming in, like, you know, there are many states in uh, North which are going for election in uh, December. So we are cautious about all those things because we are not sure if the government changes, if the project is getting stalled like this, there is no fun, right? That we are committing so much of funds. In Andhra Pradesh, uh, we are almost uh, four to five crores is stuck in uh, working capital due to the project got stalled. So we are uh, we are chasing them. We are uh, you know we are representing to all uh, levels of uh, in the government. And we are putting up our case, and I hope it will get restarted again. But you know, it is stalled for the last four five months, so three months or four months. So everything goes for a toss, right? Have you lost any business because of the lack of such money? I mean, four or five crores, as you said, is a is a large sum for a company of your size. So would you have, if yeah. the money was available, been able to bag other business which would have come your way, and you had to let it go? Yeah, of course, we would have backed aggressively in other uh, government tenders, you know, which we are now probably um, uh, thinking that we will go slow on government tenders. Okay. So, uh, because as government is spending so much, so we thought we will also uh, diversify our portfolio in government part also, hmm. so that we are, you know, um, balanced, equally balanced in all sectors. Milin, would you believe... Milin, would you believe that the next six to 12 odd months would see pressure on the top line because of the segments that you're operating in are facing an economic uh, yes, situation Yes, I do see because, uh, because you know, there are, uh, the sentiments are not getting better and 
and my only fear is you know automotive is not picking up the uh, real estate is not picking up and um, if there are policy paralysis like this uh, if the government is getting change and the project are getting stalled it's it's further going to deteriorate everything you know so i, I don't mean. think anything yeah. okay i so w my last question milin what is that one thing that you think either on the regulation side or on the tax side or maybe gst or something what is that one thing that you dearly wish can happen for either business to become a lot more easier or for you to find some much needed liquidity what is that one key thing see one key thing is uh, liquidity you know nbfc uh, the way it is stalled so the real estate the two wheeler sale the three wheeler sale everything has got affected by nbfc uh, uh, tightening you know so i think there has to be liquidity in the market otherwise people are not going to spend if there is no money in the market so liquidity has to be there nbfc or bank have to ease their way of lending to people how nbfc used to do you know so that is what i think okay uh, milin let's see uh, that's probably not just a wish of your company but for a lot of others as well let's see as and when it happens but thanks a lot for joining in today and giving us some sense about what your company is going through right now that's uh, well a mid size uh, auto or robotics uh, automotive robotic company talking about what's really happening in the business environment right now thanks for tuning in to the real economy check